For the last three years, engineers working on behalf of Network Rail have been undertaking extensive refurbishment works of the 150-year-old viaduct that crosses the Malvach estuary close to the seaside town of Barmouth. The viaduct, which was completed in 1867, forms a crucial part of the Cambrian Coast Railway between Aberystwyth and Pethwelly, and provides an important link across the estuary. The distance from Fairbourne to Barmouth by rail is only around 2.5 miles or 4 kilometres, however the same journey by car requires a 13 mile 20 kilometre detour via a toll bridge located to the east or a 17 mile 27 km detour, avoiding the toll bridge, travelling as far east as Dolgethley before heading back west towards Barmouth. The 820 metre long viaduct consists of a timber trestle structure which crosses the estuary from the south, and a steel lattice bridge on the Barmouth side of the estuary. The viaduct originally had a drawbridge on the northern side that allowed tall ships to pass, however in 1899 it was discovered that the ironwork supporting the drawbridge was severely corroded. It was therefore decided to replace the drawbridge with the steel swing bridge that people will be familiar with today. The new structure consisted of a steel lattice bridge supported on two sides by pairs of iron piers and a steel lattice swing bridge which pivoted about its centre supported on a group of four cylindrical iron piers. The timber section of the bridge was completely renewed in 1906, however in the 1980s it was discovered that the timber piers were infested with marine woodworm, therefore the bridge had to be closed in 1985 to replace a number of piles, whilst others were strengthened by being encased in glass reinforced concrete. By 2020, the bridge was once again in need of repair and in September 2020, the first of a number of bridge closures took place in order to allow workers to replace rotten timbers and corroded steelwork. In August this year, Network Rail shifted its focus to the monumental task of replacing the steel bridge sections. To do this, engineers from Alan Griffiths had to devise an ingenious method to dismantle the old bridge sections and transport and install four brand new steel sections. Such was the complexity of the operation that workers undertook a trial move of the new sections on a section of track constructed away from the railway. After the successful trial, the new bridge sections were craned onto railway trailers placed on the railway leading to the bridge. Then the gantry was assembled on top of the new lattice sections. The gantry supported cranes that you would normally find suspended from factory roofs. Once assembled, the entire structure complete with gantry cranes was moved into place within the existing bridge. The existing bridge was then cut into manageable sizes before the cranes were used to lower sections of the old bridge onto waiting pontoons. The new bridge, which was moved inside the existing bridge, was lowered into place onto the existing piers. So that means the new bridge will actually be a little bit narrower than the old bridge, but obviously still wide enough for trains to pass. Engineers are now working on the reconstruction of the bridge deck before reinstating the railway. It is hoped that the work will be completed by December this year, after which the railway and footpath that runs alongside will reopen. Although the mechanical parts for the swing bridge will be left in place in accordance with the Grade 2 listing, the bridge will not be able to swing once the work is complete. According to one source, this means that clearance is only about 5.5 metres, I'm assuming at high tide, which rules out all but small sailing craft from navigating the channel. As the bridge is Grade 2 listed, designers have gone to great lengths to ensure that the bridge retains the same look and character of the old bridge, and should be indistinguishable from the old one to anyone except those who know about the project or who have studied the construction of the bridge in any detail. In any event, the replacement of the steel bridge will mark the completion of the viaduct's refurbishment, which will secure the viaduct for rail passengers, pedestrians and cyclists for decades to come.